Right, today we're going to do product photography. Hi, I'm Mick Sadler and today we're going to do product photography, a bit of a tutorial. We're using these lights, which is a, a very highly re reflective reflector, 60 inches or 40 centimetres. We're using an LED bulb. So it's mains operated and uh, this was 25 watt. You can also have 45 watt in there if you want. It also comes with a diffuser, front diffuser, shower cap type. We'll show you how that works a bit later on. You also get uh, a tabletop version like this, which uh, we haven't really got a big enough table for. So uh, this one is on our 302 stand. Okay, let's get started here. We've got a sheet of white card, which we bought from an art shop. And so just a normal piece of white card, and we've attached it, we've got some sort of uh, support at the back there. So we've got our product, which is a teapot, and uh, we've positioned that there. We've got the, uh, the lights, and they've both got uh, diffusers on. Just to soften the light, the uh, diffuser softens it, gives it a nice, uh, softens any, any shadow, so you don't get harsh shadows. Now these are positioned so that uh, we also light the background, but because of the way light works, the uh, inverse square law of light, the further away it drops off. So we're not going to get a pure white background. If we wanted a pure white background, we'd have to light this back separately with another light. But we're going to do, we're going to clean it up in post. But first of all, we've got uh, our two lights selected either side and uh, we've got them angled so that light is falling on the background. And uh, we've got our camera here, which is a Fuji X-T1. And we're taking this about 35, uh, 35 millimeters on the lens. So and it, uh, this is an APC sensor. Um, we're gonna turn out the ambient light so as not to affect the exposure. So we're gonna set this a two second delay. So every time we press the shutter, shutter, there'll be a two second delay before it takes a picture. So this is what the uh, camera is seeing. And we're just gonna alter the exposure compensation. So we're just gonna plus one. So that's plus one, which um, is looking pretty good. We've now moved this light here to a higher position and pointing down on the subject you'll be able to see the slight difference this gives so it does give a harsher shadow at the bottom but uh, you're going to have to experiment with different products you get to get the optimum out of it right we're going to give you five tips for your product photography tip number one is use a tripod Sit your camera on a tripod um, to stabilize it. Tip number two, use a remote or a, a timer. We're using a timer, so it lets the camera settle down so your shot is not, uh, you don't get any camera shape by pressing the uh, button. Tip number three, use a small aperture. Over from F5, F8, F11, something like that, which gives you a bigger depth of field. When you're close, your depth of field is shorter anyway. Um, so it's important to uh, make sure that you get everything, if you want, in focus front to back. If you don't want everything in focus, if you just want the front being in focus, then you need a wider aperture, which will give you shorter depth of field. Tip number four, use a set of lights. So we've got a set of lights here, so it stays constant. You know, you've got a constant... Uh, environment. Tip number five, use exposure compensation. Now we're using one stop, but if you're shooting on a white background, obviously the camera sees that big expanse of white and tries to uh, make it grey. 
So you need to use exposure compensation to line that up, and we're using one stop. Tip number six, take more than one shot. Take a few shots. You want to make sure they're in focus or the angle. You can change the angle. While you've got the product there, get the best out of it by taking more than one shot. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got any queries, put them down below. And uh, we'll see you again next time.